to show your brother, your sister, yeah, amen, yeah. that God is love. For the Bible says God is love. Yeah, that's right. That's Glory right. to God. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm thankful today that, amen, we serve a wonderful God that we call it the agape love. Oh, praise God. Amen. It's that love that goes beyond the human reasoning of our of our intellect. And, yeah. and, and sometimes, you know, we're angry at people because they're angry at us. Yes. Come on, one yes. Come on, yes. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes we get childish. Come on. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, people today are afraid of the, the terrorism, <laughs> terrorism attacks that's going on yeah. in the world. Yeah. My Lord, you know, I have no, I, I got no uh, feelings toward any kind of nationality. But let me tell you, uh, I, there's, you know, I tell you right, even in the church, there's terrorism in the church. That's right. Yeah. Uh, people right. are even boycotting uh, churches and pastors and, and congregations. And, and say, if you don't do it this way, I'm not coming next Sunday. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm not going to give my time if you don't listen to what I have to say. Yeah. I want you to know tonight, <laughs> glory yeah. to God, amen, that we got to follow the words of the Lord. Yeah. Can you say amen? The yeah. Bible says we got to build a church. Come on. Hallelujah. There is a foundation which no other man can lay that which is laid. Yeah. Which is Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's not built on culture or tradition, but yeah. it's built on the word of God. God didn't call you and I to agree with our culture. He called us to agree with the word of God. Hallelujah. So you can be blessed from within and coming out. Hallelujah. I call you to believe with his word tonight. Oh, you the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. I thank God tonight. We have a living epistle written in our heart. Where all men tonight you are the only Bible some of you are
See the revival I seen the sick healed the main walk. My Lord, and all of a sudden I would try, nothing would happen. <laughs> but you know what the Bible says, these kind of things don't happen, but because of fasting and praying. Yes, right. Yes. I was going to say that the demons coming out, but fasting and praying for you, the hardness of your heart, and then yeah. getting rid of that unbelief, can you say that? Yes, but you know, today one of the strongholds that in the church, even though we're Christians, is unbelief. Come on. Yes. You know what holds us back from revival is unbelief. Yes. And it's going to go up and it's going to come down. I want to tell you tonight, if you get the true meaning of revival, glory to God, you got to plant your feet on high ground. contact. I walk into his service and I think he almost faints. 
And now he gave me his phone numbers and cell numbers and wants me to come back to Phoenix. Hey, man, I see some of the patches up there, too. <laughs> Peter Antonio. James Antonio there. I see the Jonathan. Sheena. Hey, man, see some of the people here that we see here and there. And even Hoss Jack was there. <laughs> the church building half the side of this building went to the had a wonderful time in the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. We heard the word. Praise God. One of the sisters was teaching Sunday school there. Talked about the bread. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. There he is. Talked about that. Amen. How Jesus fed the multitude. Five loaves and two fishes. Hey, man, guess what? I want to tell you something, church. Did you know what turns a miraculous? You know, God is a miraculous working God. And do you know how to get the miraculous working? Is you got to learn to be thankful. Because the five loaves and those two fish. And my Lord, he said, you know what he said? Father, I give you things. Come on, church. He gives the Father. Yeah. And let me tell you, Jesus could have ate those five loaves and two fish by himself, but he took it in, he blessed it, and he gave it out. And the Bible says 5,000 men that sat together. The women said there was actually 15,000, because if you had 5,000 men, you ought to have 5,000 wives, and at least one child per family, which is a 15,000. So the Lord can see. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Is that a doctrine? No, it's a reality. The yes, man comes from the tomb of Lazarus. Yes. Remember? Yeah. The one you love, he's died. He now stinketh. Look at your neighbor say, he stinks. He stinks. He stinks. Some of you stink and you don't even know it. <laughs> they call Jesus, he stinks. It's four days since he's been dead. Uh-huh. Four days since he's been dead. Hot little east. Uh, all of a sudden, Jesus comes to the tomb and says to the disciples of the family, Roll away the stone. All right. He always asks you to show faith. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm doing a lot of preaching as I go along here and get to my verse maybe tonight. He always asks you to show yeah. your faith. Yeah. Yes, he does. Matter of fact, you can't even get saved without faith. That's right. That's right. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. If thou believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, yes. thou shalt be saved. 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 There he is. Comes to the tomb and says, roll away the stone. Yeah. In other words, if you do what's possible, there yes. He said, I will do what's impossible. That's right, that's right. When they roll away the stone. Yeah. You know why stones are being, not being rolled away? Because you have fear. That's right. Say it, brother. That's right. No, ask yourself this. Say God told you to go to the graveyard and open the old tombstone. Would you? Would you? Say it, say it. Come on. Say it. I have to pray about this. Say it. <laughs> like so. Them over yeah. Let me ask you a question. How many would how many would like to follow me back to Canada tomorrow? Let me see, let me see hands. That's the way I felt when I was at home two thousand miles ago. That's right. Say it, brother. There it is. Mm-hmm. There it is. Hey man, I got a, a text from David and I think from Timmy and then said, you know, your doors open this weekend, come yeah. preach. <laughs> man. I, didn't, I, didn't, I had some finances. A lot of times I get finances together because, you know, when you grow in the Lord, you know, you learn how to prepare. Amen. You know, a lot of the native folks, they don't prepare for winter. All right. Your tires are still bald. Your shovel is still broken from last year. Your Christmas lights don't work. Somebody said a lot of native folks are like Christmas lights. When you plug them in, some of them are not very bright, and some of them don't even work at all. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> How about you follow me to Canada? Let's go. I'd like you to come to Canada and smile at me. 
That's a walk of faith, people. Amen. All right. That's a walk of faith. Amen, amen. It's easy to sit in home in your home church and say, glory to God, praise God. Amen. Praise yes. God. But it's another thing to get on the road and do it. Yes. Right. It's That's another right. thing to actually do it. Come on, church. Right. A lot of people do right. want money, but people don't want to work. All right. That is. Say, amen. That is. I've got some revelation for you. If you're not called to a full time ministry, if you're not called to be in one of the offices of the ministry, you better find a job, support the local church, give your time and offering. You are better. You are better off to do that. Come on. There it is. Rather than being a nuisance in the field. There it is. Rather than being a problem, you should be a solution. That's right. Amen. There it is. Amen. Right. Right. They I grumble and complain over money and all of this stuff. I might as well just go over and get a job. That's right. That's right. Hey, brother. I'm about to kick this this golden bucket straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There it is. Listen, right. church. God ordained the people to give their tithe and offer because the Levites took it in and did service unto the Lord. Amen. All right. Say amen. Amen. Pastors and preachers, we don't take offerings because we want to, because we're miles away from them. No, it's the ordination of God. If a man work, don't muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn. Yeah. Say amen to Amen. amen. Mm. Encourage you tonight. Jesus looked at the tomb. That's right. Guess what they done? They rolled away the stone. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's no turning back now. Yeah. Come on. Jesus looks at that dark hole and he says, Lazarus, come on board. Yes. There it is. Yes. There it is. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. See, these are all stories some of you guys don't even believe. You just, just, the little, the little, just uh, like Cinderella. Say it, brother. Say it. He hasn't really gone home here. Say it, yeah. say it. Right? It's just another Navajo or Apache man. All right. <laughs> but I want to tell you the word of God is for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Give the Lord a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, I'm going to receive an evening offering, and I'm so glad that, you know, the offerings that have come in. I think the first, I can't remember what the first night was about. And the second one was about, what, 400, 300? I don't know what it was. And, um, you know, we have two vehicles, two tanks. we got seven people traveling. And uh, I'd like to see some of you have that kind of faith. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to elevate okay. your faith and walk with okay. Jesus. Amen. You know, tonight, I just want to say that if any of you preachers come to my land, I take care of you. All right. Amen. I ask our people to sow to help you. 